That is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> You're so scary. Jump in this thing and see what it'll do. wanted to experience get to go back in time we have arrived it's been inside this storage unit for a long time okay so behind this bay door is a car that was used for it was like rented out to production or movie companies for background cars movie scenes or maybe even driving scenes we don't know it was in a storage building that had that housed a ton of cars the storage building got sold years ago and so then it was pushed in here and so we're finally going to get to see it open it Thanks, you think i just work. brought you here just to stand there Oh, we gotta get more effect with the dust. We gotta sprinkle it. There you go. Yeah, there you go. We, we gotta drop the whole, we gotta do the whole like, fake barn find deal. There you go. You saw cobwebs fall. Horn stars, wet bars, driving around in fancy cars, high price cigars, bags of coke. Pass a pipe and take a toke. Strip show, killer blow, $1,500 hoe. Double D's bouncing in my face. Let's go nuts and wreck the place. Let's get loaded. Let's get mean. I want to party like Charlie Sheen. I want to party like Charlie Sheen. No pants, that's what I call romance. Long legs, mini skirts, drinking till my liver hurts. Get ripped, get stripped, get a million bucks for every script. Let's get a million dollar bills and roll like Chuck through Beverly Hills. Down on sunset, on the scene. I wanna party like Charlie Sheen. I wanna party like Charlie Sheen. Oh, that's a drop, man. This thing's only what? Your ass is only like six, seven inches off the ground? Yeah, that's low. Oh, no, of course not. This is why. I've come twice to do other cars, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You've got one outlet that's in the whole place you can use. This is so and cool. Go, and I'm like, the headliner's pouring down. Yeah. Way tinier in this thing. You ever sat in one of these? I have like seven on my home. Do you? They're just little. Bit. You know the Hot Wheel size ones? Here, sit in this thing. Oh, the key's in it. Holy, oh. that is a drop. It's low, right? It is. Ooh, that clutch is soft. It must be hydraulic well, or something that's dead. Well, you don't need a whole lot of clutch to contain 120 horsepowers. They're like 130. <laughs> 130. Don't, don't be cutting it short. Well, this is the manual, so it's probably the 130 one, yeah. Ooh, it's got two dome switches. How do you open the trunk on these things? Kind of reminds me of like a Corvette when you're sitting in it, like a eight, like a, a bit. 80s Corvette. Wow, fifth is way over. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Way over. The first part. 
Let's go race it. Ready? One. Give it some time. Give it some more time. Two. There you go. Can you see now? If I can see four, I just go like this. <laughs> Got the original DMC radio. That's pretty awesome. Does it? Yeah. They said you're supposed to open the doors in like a really tight area. I wonder if this passenger door will open like that. Uh, I would try it. Yeah. I don't think it would do that either. Hey, pop the hood. Where is the hood lever? I know. Yeah, I'm looking. Feels like we need an owner's manual that's for this thing. Uh oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, that must be the cigarette lighter. Yeah. That's the e brake. Pop up. Okay. Take a minute to get used to the handbrake on your left. Oh, is it on the. No. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Not much drifting. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that would uh, take some getting used to. Yep. Yeah. It's got pop rivets in it. Well, it's got some fuses here. Must have issue blowing fuses. Raw process finished. None of inventory. I'm surprised the, the, the uh, strut for the door is still good. It's weak. I know, but it's, it's still holding it open. Where the hell is the... Maybe it doesn't have an interior release. Google, tell you. Yeah, I get me to Google everything for this car. I don't see one up here. Huh. I guess I could just get the compressor. It doesn't have the original key. Is it like aftermarket or something? Yeah. Taylor store. No, it is made in USA though. Wow. Too bad there wasn't the S after that X. It'd be XS29. Oh, yeah. RT. Yeah. <laughs> They mixed up with all your other charges. We can probably get a reproduction DeLorean key. Is this the only key part? Yeah. As far as I know. I have no idea how to open anything that, on that, this car. That's the usual problem with George. Finding keys, oh, wait. titles, all that crap. Yeah, so they don't try to do this. Uh oh. Those, oh no. those struts are no good. That's why she's That's why it's sold the way it is. I gotcha. Have run it and it's stolen. Uh, Is that what it? I have no idea. I, I know they're not stolen because of where they came for. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. They bought, when they got this car, they got, I think, 35 other ones. Is this what it looks like? Is there, is there supposed to be an. Is, there's I have no idea if there's an air cleaner or not. Oh. It looks like the air cleaner might be missing. I think you're right. Is there a tube and. Again, I've never opened yeah, it up. I have never. What the hell is that thing? That's your uh, throttle body. That's the throttle body? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, there should be a big looks like a there. Looks cleaner. like a freaking toilet plunger. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there should, there should be an air cleaner. So it's missing the air cleaner? Apparently. The rear struts are bad. Here, move your gloves. This one's good. Or wait. Oh, there's a release. Okay. I was going to say that would be when the door won't open. Just kind of stay in it until you get back there. I just, want, I'm, I just want to experience sitting in it. I'm going to tell you, this is why I never worried about getting it started doing anything because I knew I wasn't getting it. Yeah, that's helpful, Chris. <laughs> Actually, you know, it's really not that. Here we pop the trunk. It's kind of comfortable. This is cool. I'm just kind of in like the awe moment. I've never actually experienced. I've always wanted a DeLorean, but okay, funny story. When I was a kid, my dad had an 82 Z28, and the taillights kind of look similar to a DeLorean. And as a kid, you know, I it, the car was silver too. And I thought that uh, we had a DeLorean, like from Back to the Future, after the, watching the movie as a kid. No, so. You need to give me a ten percent for everything that I get for you. <laughs> you so, that went over. It never even got. So, so my 
my dad's like, that's not a DeLorean, that's a Camaro. And I'm like, oh. But it just, from the back, as a kid, it looked so much like a DeLorean. I thought we had a DeLorean, like the movie Back to the Future. Still has the DMC radio in it. I kind of want to go watch that DeLorean movie now. Ooh. What's in here? Old registration. So this car was, the registration expired on this car in 1991. So this car has been off the road probably b since before 91. What is this? DMV. It was $112 to register this car in 91. Huh. Is there more trap doors and stuff? I have no idea. What is this thing? Is that the cigarette deal? Does this thing open? What are these? I have no idea what anything in this car does. I've never sat in one. I've never experienced it. Headliner saggy. But yeah, that is the most window you have. So imagine going through a drive-thru and that's all you got. So you gotta stick your hand through and try and pull your food through that little window. Wait, how do you open the door? Oh, okay. They got through way And so you got to the place and he said, fuck it, leave the rest of the stuff and I'm looking around. Hey, we can go down the road and be cool looking like this. The amount of stuff <laughs> sticking out of it. Stuff there you go. I hope I can even get to it. Where the heck is the valve stem? I got a feel for it. Looks like you got plenty of room on the camera. I don't know what yeah, it's bullshit. Where the hell is the valve stem? You're supposed to be a oh, mechanic. You can't even figure out how to yeah. put air in a tire. Well, you can't see it in this. I can barely get my head in here. Oh, wow. Oh. What kind of tires are these? Shot ones. <laughs> that just means these will do excellent burnouts. Till one comes apart and wrinkles up the quarter panel. I don't think there'll be any burnouts with this machine. If we put oil all over the rear tires, there will be burnouts. I'll make the engine sound be pushed. Okay. Fire it up. Room. I'm about to off the bottom one. I think it's out of gear. It is out of gear, and I'm holding the clutch in. Ugh. All right, let's see how we get to this. Yeah, I'm gonna ask my dumb question. Where are you putting it? You got a duster on there. Yeah, I'll grab that. We're supposed to drop the duster off first, but... Well, the plan was to drive this off. Yeah. Do we wash off the barn fine dust or we just wash the windows It'll up? Blow off on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> it's very uh, swirls with the stainless and then you'll have to cold it. Yeah. I brought it to the hospital last week. She made it. It's down, but we do enjoy this stuff. That yeah, the the finding of the car is almost better than the restoring yeah, or drive. Sometimes the anticipation of getting it's a lot more fun than actually owning it. Hey, yeah. I got I got I went to Georgia's barn. And there's these five crates, and they're not, they're about that big. What the hell is this? That tall, all sealed. There's five of them. Hey, like, did this lever open the hood? Do you call it a hood on this? Yeah, it's frunk. Frunk? Yeah, it's the trunk in the front. Frunk. Oh, is, right, oh it is. Open. So. Oh, there's uh, the air cleaner. Deal. Here's, here's oh. your uh, door opener. Oh, no, that's for the, because the, the. The spray. Oh, by the way, this is where you put gas in it. Oh. I bet that smells nice. I'll let you. Do the honors. Not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, I said what? Yeah. So I start opening the crates. We should probably put this on just because there's a little bit of dust oh, on yeah. this thing. I Let's have, roll it out. I all have right, no yeah. clue what the crates are. I start opening them up. They're just filled with all kinds of different tools. So I've only made it through two crates so far. But it's like I opened one crate. There were three abrasive chop saws in there. 
Hey, will that door open? Well, it looks like it takes about a little it's over a foot. Good. Oh, okay. So they, they're, they're not that much better than the uh, Open that one all the way. Car. Sweet. All right. All right, let's get this You guys out. push me out. Why am I pushing? It's not my car. Yeah, then I get to go give to somebody else. Oh, once I got the money, I thought, okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> you just steer. I, I, I don't think these, I don't think these are power steering. I think they're manual. Really? Well, yeah. The truck with the trailer can drive to the front of the DeLorean. Isn't that a better way to do that? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, the, the old guy is the wiser one. <laughs> the, old, the old guy doesn't want to push it more. You actually look kind of cool getting out of that thing. My old man creaky bones, as you would say. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Okay. That, that'll be the one that That's how tall this thing is. Here, stand next to it, Mike. The guy on my tippy toe to make it more impressive. This, dude, these things are not tall at all. Oh, no. oh it does open. That thing was oh, that shock is good. That one was pretty responsive. What's that door? Where'd that come from? I don't know. Oh, oh, is this a, on the seat. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Is it all about the DeLorean? Oh, yeah, it's all it's DeLorean stuff. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. That's another five pound. It might stay here. Is there... the sticker on the windshield? Hey. DeLorean, DeLorean Owners Association. Huh. What is this back here? Like the storage That's or something? That's the battery cover. Oh. And then there's two other covers. There's like two things. Oh, on yeah. This side. Is that wood? That's wood. Yeah. Which being it's all apart means there's probably some type of Possibly issues. not. That's where all oh. your relay is in. Which is kind of not promising. It's all taken apart. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to start it. All right. This is really cool. I've actually, this is my first time being really around one. And like I said, I've always wanted one as a kid. I always thought they looked cool, even before I saw the movie Back to the Future. Do they? Well, actually, that tank is real small. Yeah, but... It's actually pretty comfortable in this thing. It's a, like I said, it's a car. Yeah. If she gave it to me, I would have loved to have it, but... Uh, did I want to buy it? No. Not exactly a family car, though. I don't have a family Oh, no. No, I'm just saying for me, where am I, I going to put the baby seat? I got a methylized wife. <laughs> so perfect. I don't want to bring her anywhere with me anyway. Does that mean to say? Probably. I wonder what these extra buttons are for. Are these the windows? See, that's a... Oh, no, that's a button. I have no idea what they do. What the hell is that? Something that's a cigarette lighter. But how do you... How do you make it do? You know, it doesn't smell like an 80s car. There's a latch. Nothing smoking yet. That's always good. <laughs> All right. I, I think these are the switches. Hey, things are happening. Yeah. Well, lights came on. Cigarette lighting needs to pop out. I didn't know what it was. I pushed it in and now it's stuck down. 
I don't. I don't know what that does. Oh, is that the lock? Oh, here we go. Oh. That one. Uh oh. Mine's broken. Yeah, that one's making gnarly noises. It's making noises like it's stuck. Yeah. I'm using this thing as immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> to find immaculate. You shush. Now it won't shut up, there it goes. Mm. Oh, these things are wide. Uh, that's how I was watching you. That door might go a long way. Yeah, because it's high enough, man. It's possible, but as long as it's straight. Look, I guess they knew these cars were so unreliable, they have built-in anchor points. <laughs> Chris, what's the difference? If you have a dog... It looks so wide on my trailer. And that trailer holds really wide late model stock cars. Now, I gotta go get Freiburger's Duster. I was supposed to trailer it to him, but seeing as how this storage unit was closing before we would get here, after dropping the duster, we have to drop the duster, load the DeLorean, and then I'm gonna have to drive the duster to David, which is like an hour and a half away. Uh, I hope this thing doesn't... Ugh, that's not a good sign. Look, look at the camber on that thing. That is terrible. Who aligned this thing? Great. Frickin' David. I love it. I wonder if when it's all cleaned up and everything, it actually like reflects like purple like a movie. Uh, it was light. probably just lights. I know, but it would look super cool. Time to head back to Vegas. This thing is just so cool. Even, I don't care if it's the biggest piece of shit they ever made. It just looks awesome. Even the Mopar guy says so. It looks fast. Like, it does look fast but everybody in the world knows it's not. The DeLorean sits so low, you have to keep looking up to make sure it's on the trailer still. A low profile, low rider. It's home. The DeLorean looks so good back here. I love. What do you think, Derek? Derek's first time. Derek, you've probably never seen a DeLorean, have you? Besides in, besides in Back to the Future. What do you think of it? It's sick, man. I it's like it, like right? A time machine. <laughs> it sits so low. Actually, this car makes you look tall. <laughs> oh, let's try and get this thing to fire up. The uh, got to put a battery in it. Try and figure out how to get the gas out of it that's in it, maybe. But uh, it's going to take a little work. But hopefully, by today, we can get this thing to run. Let's tear into it. All right. I remember the hood releases right here. I don't know if you still call it a hood on this thing. All right, go ahead and pull it up. <laughs> you lift it from the back. Yep. Oh, damn. Does it have the spare tire in it, I wonder, still? It does. Sweet. There are like pop rivets everywhere on this thing. These cars were built so crappy. Well, look, the air cleaner's here. So we do have that. I thought we lost it. Oh, that must be the bolts for it. They're laying in there. Does the hood stay up or no? No. Oh, it falls down? 
Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and jump in it, Derek. All right, Bolt's gonna beat you to it. Go ahead, Bolt. No. Surprised he hasn't peed on the tires yet. What do you think? This is cool. I like the dash. It's so cool looking. Yeah. I don't like all this modern digital crap or this fake analog. No. Real gauges. It's got a cassette tape in it, Derek. You got any old you got any old cassette tapes? <laughs> no. I do, but not with them. <laughs> All right, let's get the back open. All right. I th oh, these struts are no good, too. All right, we got the appropriate DeLorean part number hood strut deal here. All right. One's on. Did you find a gas station that sells petroleum? I did. Or, uh, petroleum. If you want to grab the Sharpie and write that on there. Plutonium. Plutonium. I'll have to Google it so I don't misspell it. <laughs> the past smog in 91. Oh, that means it should be good now. Right? Oh, yeah, this thing. Oh it, oh, it has a trunk light. See that? No. It looks like it came off out of somebody's bathroom, but it does. <laughs> Here, let's try and get the fuel out of this thing. That's the registration, I think. Date, they took it off the road they took in 91. It off the road in 91. Yep. Oh, it has electric fan. Well, does it have electric fans on it? Oh, the radiator's in the front. That's right. So I think we figured this out. We, you know, the smart thing to do would be to research how to work on these things, but uh, I think we followed this as the fuel line going into the mechanical injection pump. So we're just going to pop the fuel line, pressurize the tank, and try and get the old gas out of this thing. See if we can't get the sucker to fire up. Oh, oh wait, there's two fuel lines here. Oh, wait, is one in, one out? Which one's in, which one's out? Okay. I think... Can you break open the DMC tech manual? I think this one's the in. Yeah, I forgot we had a book that came with this thing. But this requires reading. <laughs> We have pictures. Uh, there is pictures. Okay, we have, so we have, we we have a picture much. book. Yeah, we're just trying to find the pictures to know what we're looking for. Wait, wait, what's this? That's fuel return. Fuel, return. fuel, fuel from pump. Oh, okay. So, oh, there is an electric fuel pump. Maybe we can just jump the relay on the fuel pump. Yeah, the relays are behind the seat. Maybe to show which where the relays are. Oh, I can go. On the fancy wood uh, yeah. panel. Yeah, the, the DeLoreans aren't known to be yeah, a super right, high quality car. The battery. Oh. Yeah, the, the paneling back here is wood. It has some oh, labels on top of this. This says C Handbook. Windows, Maybe Google would know. There's a relay missing. That's a good sign. I think we're gonna ask Google. The radiator at what, where's the, the, the radiator at in this thing? Yeah, I don't know where the radiator is. <laughs> well, that's an overflow tank oh, here. Sick for... It's bone dry. Oh, okay. I love it. I'm imagine it takes green coolant, huh? Well, just any of the stuff that works I guess there. So. Green coolant. Right. Because this says windshield washer up here. Do not fit this fill thing with in there. oil, gasoline, or any other base material. Did any, have you ever pushed on the brakes? No. Have you? No. <laughs> Maybe one of us should push on the brake pedal. Clutch is soft though, so. I don't yeah, but it's a mechanical clutch. I don't think it's hydraulic. Uh, it might be hydraulic because I don't think it's working. Because remember when you guys were pushing me and it wouldn't roll? Motherfucker. Damn. Oh, I guess it helps when we go the right way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I'm not the only one. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> 
Oh, I heard relays click. Well, that's why the key is. That was on. Oh, the lights come on. See, the fuel pump turns on. Oh, it won't do it unless there's RPM, that's right. Yeah, we have to be cranking it, I think. I guess you see if there's oil in this thing. Probably. Yeah. Oh, it did cool it's off not, on that one. It's not too funny anymore. Is there a brake pedal? Yes. It actually has. Some Where's the pressure. fluid at? Up under there for the brake pedal. I haven't figured out the radiator yet, though. Where's the. Oh. Is, oh, yeah, there it is. Is there anything in it? You need midget fingers to. Oh, wow, it's empty. Really? But it feels like there's a brake pedal? Oh, hang on. I pushed it farther this time. Maybe we should put some fluid in it. Alright, it's got brake fluid. <coughs> the fuck was that? That was a horn. I thought I'd make you jump, but it didn't work. Yeah, they. Is it's, that, not, it's not impressive. Is that really the horn? That's, that's really the horn. No. Horn. In. Oh. That is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> You're so scary. About coolant, if we can even get this thing to fire up. I have not seen anywhere other than there you can put coolant. Well, if the fuel. Said the radiator must be underneath somewhere. Throttle? Yeah. Oh. Well, the butterfly's not moving. That probably just sucked in by air. Oh. That's stupid. Well, let's see if it builds oil pressure. It's got, it's well, got, it's oil. got 40 pounds of oil pressure. Yeah. That, let's That's see if it has 40 when it's cranking. Or actually, it probably, the gauge probably won't work while it's cranking. Yeah, well, it's showing 40 right now. That's All right, good. Gas, but the other gauges seem to work. See, everything reset except for oil. Well, there's a dummy light for the oil and a dummy light for the battery. So it says it's not charging. We don't have oil pressure. Make sure nothing's smoking. All right. You can watch the gas dump out. I can Let me watch see it. if I can feel it. So you said it's this, the green one is the fuel pump relay? No, the one next to the green oh, one. Oh, the gray one. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I heard it click. I feel it click. Well, are we dumping fuel out now? I don't know. Let me look. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. <laughs> hey, it's got vacuum. It's sucking that little toilet plunger in. Go ahead. <laughs> I bet the fuel pump's dead. So I don't think we're getting any fuel. Spray some shit, the uh, starting fluid down the throttle body thing. I'm gonna spray it in the toilet plunger. A lot of dirt down there. A lot of dirt. At least that plunger did stop all the dirt from going directly in the motor. Yeah, because they weren't far enough to their finger back on it. I wonder why they had that thing though. Alright, here, go ahead. Ready, Derek? Make sure yeah. it's out of gear. Yeah. Oh, something happened. It ran. Do it again. It's running. Okay, we need a fuel pump. Was that on? Oh, what? Oh, I said that was just running. You kept it running on the... Yeah. And it didn't show... Any, there was no fuel... That was enough RPM. That should have triggered that fuel pump relay and... Uh, hey, wait. Clean filler cap before removing... Usually DOT4 fluid. Is gas tank? Is that... That's I'm wondering if that's an access to the... Aha! Wait, no. Is that the brake fluid? No, that's... No. that's. What is that? Well, it says DOT fluid. But same with here. Oh, Would is that you... the clutch? Oh, one of them's probably the clutch. That's oh, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's probably the clutch. Because the clutch, I think, is dead, by the way. Because of the clutch in, in gear, I think it uh, moves. Did you try that? Well, when you were pushing me yesterday out of the shed, you remember, you got it out of gear, I had the clutch in, and then as soon as I pulled it out of gear, then it would roll. So 
the clutch down and in gear, I'm thinking the clutch is dead. Whoa! No, it's not. Would you have the clutch in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's dead. I thought you meant the clutch was no good. Oh, no, I just said the clutch is dead. Well, maybe it just needs fluid. Maybe it didn't crash the gate. It might just need fluid. Oh, yes, it might need fluid. Oops, I almost crashed the DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll set this stuff out. Oh, excuse me. Don't you kind of feel like a Neanderthal working on this thing? Because it's out of our norm. Yeah, we're clueless. It's not like Chris playing with Barbies. He's an expert. <laughs> this is new to us. Oh, that's not good. Cool. Yeah. Maybe it just needs bled? Maybe. Is that brake fluid in there? Should probably get that wiped up then. It smells like it. Well, it says DOT4. So. It's got a bunch of nasty gooey stuff in it. That can't be good. Looks like we can maybe access the fuel pump. There's a bunch of nasty gooey stuff in that clutch pedal fluid, so. We got some racks. Because they've had this off. There's no bolts in it, so maybe that's what some of that hardware is. I wonder if it takes like a standard like Bosch pump. Because I doubt we'll be able to go. Oh, nice! We can access it. Look down in there. I wonder what. I mean, actually, let's grab the test light and see if we can actually power down there. All right. Yeah. We'll just hook the chat. Damn it. How many I know I've already hit my head on these freaking doors a couple times. We'll just hook the test light to, to the fiberglass ground on the chassis. Here you go. Uh, let's see if I can. All right, go ahead and crank it. Make sure it's out of gear. Don't crash it. No juice? Without I'm not getting, hold on. Oh, I found some fuses. I like fun. The radio? Oh, oh Derek, look, look, radio look, look. Came the antenna's going up. Hey, radio works. Oh, what the hell? Do you think it's, uh, you think it's the radio playing from 1983? I feel like my grass can use a few extra days of watering. I don't even Still know. playing commercials. Oh, no, okay. yeah. Will the antenna go down? I don't know. I figured it out. Well, it looks stupid with the antenna up all the time. <laughs> now it looks like an RC car. <laughs> How do you make the antenna go down? Good question. Maybe it should go down when I turn the radio off. It did not. There it goes. Did it go down? Because I'm pushing it. Oh. That's how you do it. Yeah. No more RC car. All right, let's check the fuse pump. We found there was a blown fuse for the engine control module. At least I think that's what it is. And we now have power to the relay that runs the fuel pump. So now we need to see if we're actually getting power down here. I have no idea what's grounds and what's not, so. We're just going to go. All right, go ahead. Crank it. Yep. Yep, it's working. Okay, I shut it off just so. We... Let me plug it back into the fuel pump. See if it does anything. Well, we gotta get cans. They don't dump gas everywhere. Well, let's just see if it even does anything. All right. All right. Let's go go power. to the back dirt. Let's see if it's a uh, pump deal. Then we need to go to Napa and say we need a fuel pump for a 1983 DeLorean. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> now. Alright. So we need a fuel pump. Alright, let's pull the fuel pump out. 
We have power at the fuel pump though. We just have no pumpy pressure. Well, I know why it doesn't run now. Ew. Nastiness. 1991 gas. And that does not look like a standard fuel pump, so this might be a minute. We're gonna go and get that out. And now we're gonna probably have to drop the tank. Ugh. It looks pretty aerodynamic under here with the flat bottom. I kind of like that, I dig it. The only thing I don't like is all the plastic and all the belly pans. But this thing has bottomed out a few times. You can tell some of the bolts are road raged. Just so I can try and get a freaking socket on here. Bolts. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Aha! There's the tank. How does that come out? Or will it come out? Do you have to drop the freaking coolant lines to get the tank out? Oh! Oh, it's all ready to come out. Okay. I guess that. Dip my eyes. I guess that belly pan is what holds the tank up. I need to undo the fill tube and the breather, and hopefully the tank will just fall down. Hopefully. Is there anything on the front? I'm gonna Google. All right, yep. Google says I do in fact need to remove the passenger side coolant line, which I kind of anticipated that. All right, well, we're gonna get this coolant line out of the way and get back to you. Why not car wash? Clean this tank out. Tank has officially been cleaned and we can stuff it back in. Hopefully put a fuel pump in it, turn the key, fire this thing up and see if it will do 88 miles an hour. It would. That, there's actually been a lot of pretty good engine suggestions. <laughs> Isn't that the craziest thing about the most popular thing? Is everybody's oh they're slow. Put a different engine in it. Put a different engine in it. Put a different engine in it. Different engine in it. Yeah. That seems to be the consensus. But on the other hand, how many of those people that are saying this know from experience? None. Yeah, that's the other. Thing. Well. Very few. Yeah, very few. <sighs> Just because they've heard. Because those are the people that would have really, really wanted DeLorean, probably Amy, but their friends said they were slow, so that was their excuse uh -huh. to buy one. It went back in. Okay. So it turns out the entire fuel hat assembly pump sending you everything on this car was junk so i have jerry rigged some other type of fuel pump i had i have no idea what it is but i have jerry rigged it to the hat 
and we're gonna try and clean the fuel system out. But I've heard these things don't run on gasoline, so we had to go get some plutonium from the 7-Eleven. Derek, let's go ahead and put our plutonium in. Don't get it on the on the uh, stainless, it might melt the stainless. All right, plutonium juice is going in. All right, try not to leak too much because plutonium is like $50,000 a pint, you know. All right, holler at me. Nothing yet? Maybe, maybe try, maybe try priming the, uh, the, the a little bit. Oh. oh, you want to spray all over the starting point? Is it getting, no, we're not, we're trying to start it there. We're trying to. Have you gotten any fuel out of it yet? Nothing. Gotcha. Oh. This is what's left in the line. That's why I had a hard time starting. So uh, apparently we're idiots and we can't read uh, owner's manuals. We had the wrong lines disconnected. So we were actually trying to flush the fuel system, but uh, it already flushed it for us into the engine. So let's just go ahead and try to start it. Oh, almost. Maybe starting fluid? It's Let's up there. Try. Ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> it sounds like the DeLorean when it was inside the barn and like the third movie trying to start it up on Moonshine. Wait, wait. Oh. Come on, the tack works. Oh. Sounds like it's just rolling. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just, it's just running, running off the starting fluid. Running on moonshine right now. Yeah, I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how the system works. No, I keep thinking it's a carburetor. Yeah. Come on, come alive. Was that you spraying in it? Yeah. No. So, uh, we can't get it to stay running and, you know, us two dumbasses looking at this thing, it's, it's like we're looking at an alien spacecraft. We have no idea what any of this crap does. Why didn't they just put a freaking carburetor on it? So we're going to go back to try and figure this out. All right, we replaced the coil. We're going to see if we're any more intelligent. Go ahead, Derek. Kick it in the ass. Go ahead. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nope. I think I had a Brainiac moment. So I cracked a fuel line and the RPM went up and it started running better. Running better. The coil didn't do nothing. Tighten the fuel line back up, it starts running like ass again. I think this fuel spider thing here is crap. Or the regulator's crap. Where's the regulator on this thing? Why is it gotta be on? It's regulator's down on this side. On this side? Yeah. Where? That looks like the whole part of it though. Yeah, it is a Bosch. Down, down here. Oh, that's the regulator? Possibly. Oh. Many hours later. We gave up for the night. And probably a couple months. Got to get this thing out of the way. I am really not a fan of this injection system or the engine right now. If I was to make it a driver for myself, I would be yanking that crap out or pulling the intake manifold off, modifying it so I can put a fucking carburetor on it and make it run correctly. Because I was told these things, even running correctly, they run too rich. Their tuning parameters are not that great. So, yeah. Carburetor could save the day, or two more cylinders could make it even better. Junk. <laughs> okay. Damn, this motor sucks. <laughs> Are you forcing the clutch in? Yeah. Is it neutral? Yeah. Wow. I'm even pushing this thing, we fail. <laughs> All right, we have to add. We're gonna have to add more power, pushing power. All right. Okay. <laughs> vroom vroom! Oh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's no brake pedal. I'm, I'm pushing the throttle, but you got, you guys aren't going nowhere. Right? You gonna get out again? No, I used the starter. That's why I wanted the battery in it. Oh. Just drive it ahead with the starter. Okay. Put it in a second. <laughs> Backwards, reverse, beep. Oh, it rolls easy now. Beep. What the beep. Hell? beep. I can't see shit out these windows. Okay, crank it. I... Not quite that hard. Straighten it out. All right. Well, I can only see through that little dot, little circle we put in the glass. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. That's why I. That's the. I forgot. That's the cool part about this. Yeah. 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 Let's go ahead again. You gotta be able to reach the clutch. Though. Why? The clutch doesn't do anything. Oh, I guess it's neutral. Right? The the brake pedal doesn't do anything. The clutch pedal doesn't do anything. All right. The console looks cool at night. Okay, left. All right. Bolt. You guys are fired as engines. <laughs> Jeez, this thing's a piece of shit. Derek, when you got the plutonium, yeah. did you get 91 plutonium or 87 plutonium? I got 87. That's why the damn thing don't run. Derek got the wrong grade plutonium. Damn it, Derek. <laughs> so far, this is still the fastest this car has moved. It 
doesn't even winch very fast. Oh, it's because Derek. <laughs> I want a party like Charlie Sheen. Let's go. Bolt, are you all depressed because the DeLorean's gone? Yep, it used to sit right there. What do you think, Bolt? I'm not even going to give you a reaction. So depressed. He thought it was cool. I thought it was cool. But it's actually up there in North Dakota right now, freezing its ass off. And I just want to say thank you to all of you guys that watch this channel. The views really help. And also the duration. The, the, the time that you guys watch the video is a whole part of like YouTube's a logarithm thing. And it really helps the channel. So for you guys that watch all the way through, double thanks. Um, I'm getting ready to start a membership on this channel. Uh, just could use a little bit of extra help when it comes to doing these cars. Everything's just so expensive nowadays. And if you're a car guy, you are well known of this. The, uh, everything around us has gotten more expensive. And now that I have a baby, I can't just like take all of my monies, <laughs> which there's none in there, and throw it at these cars. So I would love to keep doing these bills and then throwing some more money at the bills, like horsepowers and everything. So anything that you guys want to contribute would be great. And also, we're going to put Bolt to work. Yep, he's going to be a behind the scenes camera dog. So it'll include all behind the scenes footage of Bolt's personal point of view on these cars. So you may see some things that you're not supposed to see, huh, Bolt? Sticking your nose up people's butts. <laughs> we'll try and edit that part out. But uh, yeah, I'm like, so like I said, I'm going to start a membership. And if you guys can join, that would be great. If you can't, hey, I just, just your views is thanks enough and I really appreciate it. It helps keep the channel going and it helps keep me doing these videos and having a good time and showing you guys what we can do with these cars and also tips and tricks and build videos um, and also uh, product testing, everything. So thanks guys, I appreciate it. And I have got to get my butt to work on this Aspen. Yep, the YouTube subscriber build car Aspen. A lot of you guys have donated parts to this thing, so I've got to get this thing going. The only thing holding me back is machine shop. There's very few of them left in town, and it's like a waiting list. So I'm just I, I'm just waiting on engine parts. Anyways, see you guys.